Jason, welcome to Catch Fish Not Feelings. I'm in the big island of Hawaii. I'm out here, gonna go out spear fishing with Coffin Lay from Kona Spear Fishing. He's out uh, getting the boat ready. Well, we're just gonna go out for a few hours. It's a half day trip. It's gonna target some local reef fishes, look for uhus, which are paired fishes, moana collies, which are goat fishes. But yeah, we're gonna see what we can catch there. Not really familiar with spear fishing in Hawaii, but I'm gonna give it a shot. But yeah, I'll see you guys out on the water in a little bit. Oh, that's the boat right there. A little Boston Whaler. Guys, two little puppies in. <laughs> All right, so we're in the water, and I gotta say, spear fishing in Hawaii is a whole different experience. It's a lot different than California and I had a lot of trouble, <laughs> not gonna lie. Here I see a uhu, a parrot fish, and I dive down and take my aim but it wasn't a good shot. I think I aimed a little too low but overall I, in general, I had trouble getting close to the fishes. It seems like these fishes know what's up, you know, and since the water is a lot clearer compared to California. A lot of these guys are more wary of people. I only got the chance to line up a few shots at around like two to three uhus, but other than that, I couldn't get close to any of the other ones. You know, I hate making excuses, but I think this day, this this was actually my last day in Hawaii, and I was just kind of already tired from the trip, a lot of hiking, and then before that, I actually went spearfishing for that tuna for that in that last video you guys might have seen. But overall, my body was just kind of beat up and my breath fold wasn't the greatest. You know, I think what's a little different here is that there's no kelp at all. So all the structure that you can use to hide is just these rocks that you see. And here you see I'm approaching like a small cave and I see some fishes kind of chilling and hanging out in there. So I take my time and I slowly dive down and I notice these long black fishes. I'm not exactly sure what kind of species they are. If you guys know what it is, let me know. But you can kind of see me rushing my shot a little bit. Aimed a little too low again. I did hit it a little bit. But yeah, today was just not my day. And it happens, you know. It's definitely a nice change of pace. The water is so clear and there's just, just so many colorful fishes around. It's just that I was I just couldn't dive deeper than 20 feet. You know, I was just too tired. And here I'm using a 90 centimeter gun that I borrowed from Calvin. I didn't want to bring my own gear just because I'm only diving for a day. It seems like a hassle to spend the extra money to like, kind of pay for an extra carry-on for all that extra stuff. So jumping up a little bit ahead, uh, this is the only fish I was able to catch on this trip. And it's a Roy, which is also known as a peacock grouper. These guys are actually invasive and it's good to hunt them from the reef because what happens is these guys, they outcompete native fishes pretty much and they eat like they're fry. So it's good to hunt these guys, but unfortunately they do have a higher chance of cigatera poisoning. So you can't really eat them. You can use them for fertilizer however, if you know any locals that might be interested. But I just gave it to Calvin, you know, wasn't planning on eating it. Yeah, and so I think I got kind of lucky here. I kind of noticed it hiding in its cave, and it must have felt more safe in that cave because when I swam up to it, it kind of looked at me, and so it didn't it didn't feel threatened where it was trying to hide away or anything. So that gave me the chance to get a good shot on it. You know, other than that, I didn't really have much success. wasn't able to get close to most of the parrot fishes that I wanted to shoot. But it's all a learning experience for me and I definitely want to come back here in the future. Especially for just a trip dedicated to spearfishing one day. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And remember, catch fish, not feelings. Like.
Hawaii hunting very, really humbled me. That shit is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. But I mean, I brought home. Well, not really bring home. We can't really eat these. But the English name for these guys are peacock groupers. Those teeth right there. But they're actually invasive to Hawaii. And you can't eat these because they're known for cigarette poisoning. But these guys are beautiful fishes. But they're bad for the reef, so shooting as many as you can is really good for them. But that's the only fish I caught today. Lots of big paired fish that I couldn't get close to, couldn't get shots on them. Missed a few shots, saw a few gold fishes, missed a shot on one. It's a lot harder. And the captain, Calvin, he didn't even get in the water, but he caught a bigger fish than me. <laughs> He apparently gaffed this from the surface. Just crazy. Yeah, but it's a barracuda. Yeah, it's huge. But yeah. Nonetheless, pretty good experience. Just two and a half hours out there. Thank you.